Hello everyone. This is Bongta Wanting from Family Travel Africa. And our topic today is on accounting. So our first question is, what does an accountant do? Accountants keep and interpret financial records. Most accountants are responsible for a large range of finance related assignments for individuals or vast businesses and organizations hiring them. This is uh, their payroll where like they keep track of the tax stuff and pays. So how much money does an accountant earn in the US? According to salary.com, accountants make 74K to 110K per year in the US. Um, that's, this is just from one, um, website. Many others have actually, um, said different, but it's not that far off. Like if you see in the bar graph here, an associate at most would make not even 80K and then like a staff accountant would barely make 60K. A senior accountant would make about 80K. An accountant manager at most at the senior level would make more than 100K. And um, so this is an account accounting career overview. So the certification you have to have, like you must pass the CPA exam. Um, like you have to, like, you know, I kind of already said this, but accountants collect, organize, and track financial information for organizations. And um, account accounting skills, uh, communication, interpersonal, detail-oriented, information technology, organizational, business, and then the salary, salary range. Like if you're like really, really low, which is not really common, you make like 44, like K. And most people make around 71 K. And then if you're like, like really up there, you make one to um, two, four K. So how to become an accountant. So basically the first step, um, there are like five steps to this, five main steps. The first step is to earn a bachelor's degree. Second step is to decide um, whether becoming an accountant, like, or like a CPA, which is a certified public accountant. Um, third step is to pick an accounting speciality, specialty, sorry, and, um, Fourth step is to earn a master's degree in accounting, but that's optional. Um, fifth step is to obtain accounting certification. Certification, And it's kind of blurry, I think, but I can read it for you. So CPA, Certified Public Accountant. So, um, so yeah, there's like five steps, I think. So as you can see, so you can start with a um, bachelor's in accounting. Some get a master's as well. You must pass a state exam in order to practice, which is anyway. Um, and then you advise businesses and individuals on their financial options. Fourth step is to prepare annual reports and file taxes. And the fifth step, is your median annual income is like 70K. So what do you need accountants for? Um, so an accountant can help you handle growth transitions such as hiring employees or taking on more office space. Um, they will worry about the details such as the payroll, employee tax management, management, property tax, utility payments, and so on, leaving you free to look at the bigger picture of the way your business is growing. Uh, they also advise you on how to save and 
here how to spend your money and then like mm, stuff like like retirement um so actually today we have a special guest miss Kimani is the founder of Leitzion Wealth Management Services. It is a financial advisory firm that provides personal financial planning education, as well as business support services to entrepreneurs. Her passion is helping businesses and individuals succeed in their financial goals. She has over 15 years of experience working across varieties of various sectors, such as insurance, development, consulting, entrepreneurship, and administration um hello how are you today i'm doing great how are you today in um i'm okay <laughs> um so how did you come to work in your field well i've always had a passion for business because growing up my mother always had one business or another and so that made me interested in knowing how people um, earn a living from the, the various kinds of businesses. Um, were you always interested in finance? Yes, I was always actually specifically in business. I was always interested in how businesses work um, and how businesses um, remain profitable. And so when I started uh, working with businesses, I realized that the entrepreneurs or the founders of the businesses always um, need help with figuring out their own personal finances. And so that's how I introduced the personal financial planning aspect of it. Um, what advice do you have for kids or resources you can share for those of us interested in personal finance? I would say that um, managing your personal finances as an individual is something that everyone needs to be educated about, whether or not you're interested in finances, because um, without money, there's you can't live. So what I would advise children uh, to do, whether or not you want to become an accountant or financial um, professional, is to understand how to save money, how to invest money, how to spend money wisely, um, and how to give money. In terms of resources, I think we are in an age where, thankfully, there is a lot of information that you can learn from Instagram or from YouTube um, and books that you can read on financial planning. Um, I think that the more you interact with money, you will determine whether it's a field that you want to get into as a, as a young person. And so uh, my advice would be to read up, read up on it. Um, talk to people who are in the field, talk to your parents about how they diversify and invest their money so that you figure out if it's something that you want to pursue as a career. Um, what are some of the challenges faced in your field, if there are, are any? There are many challenges that we face um, in our field. I think that keeping abreast of uh, what are the changes is, is the first one because the world is going global and the market on one continent affects um, other continents. So getting information in a timely manner, that's usually a challenge. Um, the second thing is that the law is very dynamic. And so um, even when the markets change, sometimes the rules change and it makes it difficult for clients or businesses to keep up. Um, so I'm based in Kenya, in Nairobi, and uh, every other year we have new tax laws for businesses to follow. So that's a challenge because if a business has done their five-year plan 
and they have not factored in these new taxes, it becomes difficult and challenging to pivot to, um, to maintain the government regulations and remain profitable as a business. Um, another challenge um, that I would say is that a lot of um, business people are very good at running their business. They are not very good at running their personal finances and they are not very flexible to receive help or to talk about it. So, so you'll find that um, as a financial advisor, it takes some time to cultivate a trust relationship with clients um, so that they allow you to help them. Um, thank you. Um, uh, what is uh, difficult to start a business of your own? What are the difficulties in starting a business? Um, the number one uh, advice that I give people um, is do research. So a lot of times people think that they have a wonderful idea and they want to start a business, um, but they haven't done the market research. So doing market research in itself is a difficult task to do, but it's very essential if someone wants to start a business. Um, the second challenge that you might find if you want to start a business is figuring out um, all the regulations and the rules that you need to abide by in order to open up the business. So what are the licenses you need to get? And so that those governance procedures might be tedious um, in the beginning. Um, that you have to you have to spend time and resources to to get the right licenses to start your business. Um, the other thing that people face as a challenge is time. A lot of times, if you're starting a new business, you need some money to be able to put towards that business, and so. Oftentimes someone is working at another job and they don't have enough time to invest in their business so that the business can grow um, or they don't have access to the resources that they need to start the business. So those are usually the three main challenges that I find. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. And today's topic is going to be on accounting. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Mbongta Wanting. Um, today's topic is going to be on accounting. <laughs> so what does an accountant do? Um, so basically, <laughs> I hope you like my reel. Yes, you do. Subscribe.